A rotting whale carcass is attracting predators to some of WA's most famous surf breaks, just as the McGowan government's drumline trial gets underway. Today, the state-sanctioned shark hunter arrived in Gracetown and began preparing for his catch and release mission. Arriving in Gracetown to catch great white sharks, the vessel Payne's find its skipper Mark Payne, a veteran WA fisherman turned shark catcher. He's in Kawaramup Bay tonight preparing to run the smart drumline trial on behalf of the McGowan government. Thursday the first baited hooks will be dropped into these waters to catch and tag predators. Payne's find will tow the animals back out to sea and release them. If it's safe and everyone's you know, happy days, no one gets hurt, no, no sharks get hurt, and what not, then sure, but I can't see how they're going to be able to do that. Unlike the 2014 drum lines, the equipment in this boat is non-lethal, but the threat is very real. This humpback whale carcass is lodged on a reef just five kilometres from Gracetown's infamous surf break left-handers, and it's already attracting sharks. These images captured by drone, but the area is inaccessible, and authorities say a nearby cliff means they can't figure out how to remove it. The protection for surfers, these VR4 receivers, scattered along an 11 kilometre stretch of coast. If a tagged shark swims within 500 metres, the new alarms will be triggered. 24 extra sensors now sit along the ocean floor, the year-long trial costing close to $4 million. Three surfers have been killed in shark attacks off Gracetown since 2004. Last year, two non-fatal attacks on the same day saw the closure of the Margaret River Pro. In Gracetown, Michael Genovese, Nine News.